Because I totally want to make this bow before anything else happens. Why? Because. That's why. That's good enough excuse for me. It's a good enough excuse for all of the rest of you. Welcome back, everybody, to Valheim. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to get started by setting up our charcoal kiln in our forge. And we have enough to do two of one and one of the other. Uh, so we almost have enough uh, startling cores that we got from the last episode, if you didn't see that, uh, to make actually two of each. But uh, we're shy, like, I think one. All right, so... Let's go ahead and go here, and we're going to go to crafting. And we're going to set a charcoal kiln down here, like so. And I think what we'll do is let's start by setting two charcoal kilns down and one forge. But what I might end up doing is um, picking one of those up later and doing two forges. Um, you know, I was going to, I was going to keep this here, but I don't think we, I don't think I will. I don't think I will because it's kind of in the way and it's not really doing anything for us. So yeah, let's just go ahead and take it down. All right, good. So that's out of the way. Let's grab our hoe here and see if we can kind of clear all uh, some more land here. Um, over here is where I'm planning on doing the garden. And I'd like to find some, some beehives in this episode too, if we can. All right, that looks good. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, set up we can set up one forge here. And we'll put that right here. And we're two, uh, I think we're one startling core short. Yeah, we have four. We need, if we had one more we could do another forge too, but that's okay. What do you want? Yeah, 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 I know what I know what it does. Okay, so first thing we need to do now is we need to put some wood in our charcoal kilns. Um and I want to do a full stack in each. Oh, it takes 25. Okay, so it takes a half a stack then. Great. And uh, what we'll do then in the forge is we will, I think, you know what? I think I am going to actually, you know, let's let, let's let this make 25. Then I think I'm going to take that down and get two forges going until we can get some more sterling quartz. Oh, by the way, I did find another tomb uh, when I was, uh, we did these two in the last episode that I have the red X on and I found another one there. So maybe we should run over there and do it. We're almost certainly to find at least one Sertling Core. Um, then we can actually get two of these going at the same time. Anyway, uh, the other thing I have to do is i got to go collect a bunch of tin. I've got gobs and gobs of copper, as you can see here, but I don't have gobs and gobs of tin. Um, so let's take... Oh, shit. That's heavy. Uh, okay, let's... I think we can only put up to 20 in the uh, thingy anyway and we add that on this side oh no we can only put 10 in okay all right let's grab the charcoal that we currently have i have a little bit of charcoal in here too in one of these chests yeah there's some right there okay grab all of that and we put that in this side. 
You can have up to 20 in there. Okay, cool. All right, you know what I, I'm gonna do then? I think I am gonna just go ahead and take this apart for now. And let's get another forge going. Or smelter, I guess it's called. And we'll do tin in this one because we will need that to make bronze. I have a little bit of tin here, but we're going to have to... Oh, shit. Uh, we're going to have to go get uh, more of that, too. I guess we'll cut that in half. Let's grab, we'll grab all of this coal. Grab the rest of this. And we already have one piece of copper. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. I'll put that wood back in there. Alright, so that's full. And we need more coal for this. Okay, let's grab our first piece of tin. And I think we need to make now the blacksmith's station uh, crafty. Do, 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 do. Hmm. All right, so when do we... We're supposed to be able to make like a blacksmith's station. Oh no, this is it here, the forge. Okay, sorry. Yeah, right there. So we're just going to need six copper and four more coal for that. Yeah, let's keep adding more wood to this guy. Yeah, we have five copper. We just need one more. All right. I think we have everything we need to make our forge. Let's put that over here. Oh, look at that. New recipes, baby. Damn straight. Okay. We got the cauldron, too. Um, all right. So now we can make the butcher knife. We can make bronze and a copper knife so far. But we can also, um, in here, we can make the cauldron, uh, which is going to take tin, tin, and that's going to allow us to start making better food. So we want to prioritize that as soon as possible. All right, I'll tell you what we're going to do then. Let's... Uh Let's do this. Uh, you need... You're almost out of coal there. Let's go ahead and make some bronze, and that'll open up a couple more things for us. Uh, wait. What? No, no, no. What am I doing? What the hell am I doing? Knock it off. Okay. Let's make some bronze. There we go. Now we got the bronze armor, the bronze arrows, the bronze weapons, the cultivator. That's a big one there. Bronze pickaxe, bronze mace. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. The bronze spear. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah. Okay. So we're, we're just going to need to make a metric butt ton of bronze. That's all there is to it because we got to make all the bronze to... Um, you know, make the weapons and tools, but then we have to upgrade them too. So we have a lot of bronze in our future, man. Uh, and I'd like to have a lot of charcoal in our future too. So I think what we're going to do now is we're going to go out and we're going to see if we can get one more certling core, which we should be able to do. And um, that way we can come back and just make bronze like crazy. And we need to go out and get a bunch of tin as well. All right, so let's make another piece of bronze here. 
Um, I have some more tin in my inventory. So let's load that up into there. Get some more coal going. Okay, you're out of copper. We'll load up that thing with copper before we take off. So we need 10 of these. And let's put... Oh, we got an anvil now too. Nice. New building piece. Oh uh, no, that's the coal. Alright, so that guy's loaded up with copper. How much coal do you have? You have four. You only have one. Okay. Let's also load up our kiln with some more wood. Okay, so that's completely full. And you are out of coal. Um, okay. I remember we needed copper straight up for something. Um, what was it? That needs just straight up copper. That needs bronze furniture. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. There's something that needed copper. Oh, maybe it was just the forge itself. So I think everything else needs bronze now. The butcher knife needs tin. But that needs bronze. That's going to need bronze. All of this will need bronze. Once we can get this, then we can cut down the uh, the birch trees, and then we can get the, a better bow. So I think I'm actually going to prioritize this first. Then we'll pri prioritize the cultivator second, so we can start plant uh, planting crops. Um, and then probably the pickaxe third, and then after that we'll kind of figure out where we're at. Uh, we want the bronze armor and all that stuff too. Okay, cool. All right, well, let's go ahead and head out then. And um, looks like we pretty much have full rested buff. We'll go do that other... Uh, that other tomb so we can get that one more Sertling core. And let's see. Um, I want to make some more torches because those... Uh, whoops. Those work very well inside the tombs. Let's not even take the hoe with us. We'll just put the hoe in there. We don't really need to. But we'll make a whole bunch of torches here. Okay, that should be good. Make sure we're completely um, repaired here. Okay, let's go do that tomb and get some more circling cores. And we'll just let this do its thing while we're gone. Okay, here's the tomb. It's actually blocked by um, a boulder here, so we got to get that out of the way first. Okay, let's go on inside. Got a skelly right here. Hey, that's cheating. Grab the yellow shrooms here. And then, as usual, we'll go left first. Alright, we got a chest. We'll take all of this. door that goes to the left. Alright, that takes out that first, um, uh, first torch there. 
<clears throat> Another chest. And a yellow shroom. Alright, looks like that's it for here. Some bones up here. There's another passage through here with some bones, <clears throat> a chest, and some shrooms, and some treasure in there. And then what do we got going on in here? Looks like that's it. Okay. So no cores. Oh, there we go. There's our core. We just needed one. Of course, we'll take more than that, though. And we are good. Now we can make two charcoal kilns. But, of course, we'll finish out the whole thing. Let's go in here. That's it for this room. Okay. We have a ghost. Okay, let's switch to our bow with fire arrows uh, for the ghosty. Oh, no, that's not a ghosty. That's a, um, a spawner. Okay. So once again, we'll use our big hammer to take that thing out. We'll get a little health back here first. All right, let's go. And the spawner's out. More circling cores and treasure in here. We already know where the elder's located. Um, there's some amber. And I think that's it for in here. Okay. Except for that stuff. Got a shroom here. Oh, okay, we got a passage that goes down. With some shrooms. Here's a pearl. Okay, that's the room we were just in. Some bones. Alright, I think that's it for this dungeon. So we pulled a total of six certling cores out, which means we can make another uh, charcoal kiln and if, if we wanted to, a third forge. Nice. Okay. Um, looks like I have this copper already marked. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go along the coast here and just mine up a bunch of tin, or at least, you know, as much as I can uh, carry uh, for the trip back. So I'll see you guys back at the base with um, hopefully a decent load of tin. I think I'm going to pick those two while we're here.
All right, guys, we're back at the base. Um, let's go ahead and load this smelter up with as much tin as we can and as much coal as we can. That's completely full. And you have, um, you have some more copper in you. All right, let's uh, make ourselves another smelter here, or kiln, rather. And we want to fill you up with wood. Beautiful. Okay. I think what we'll do is, since we have the extra cores, let's go ahead and do another smelter as well. you up with some coal and I'm gonna have to get some uh, some more wood now oh carrying too much okay let's get uh, all this other extra stuff offloaded here Got a nice little collection of bones going now a full stack of amber. That'll be worth some bank when the time comes. All right, let's make some more bronze here. All right, so we need three more pieces of bronze to make the bronze axe. So that was the first thing we wanted to do. All right, let's make some more bronze here. And we should now be able to make the axe, except for we need some wood. Of course we do. put all this in here um, can I carry that much uh -uh. okay let's load up the forges as best as we can and then we'll sleep and then whatever um, whatever's in there will finish by morning so I'll load you all the way up load you all the way up load you all the way up All right, let's go ahead and sleep. All right, let's see. So, um, I'll make some more of this. So we can make the cultivator, but I, I want to I want to make the axe first because I want to then make the bow. That's our highest priority. And we need to go get more wood. Um, so we can keep making more charcoal. So we'll just pick up whatever we have out here. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go um, cut some wood. And hopefully this will be the last time we have to use... The flint axe to cut wood. So let's start with this guy here. All right, let's see if we can make ourselves a bronze axe. Oh, look at that, baby. That is a beautiful thing. All right, and we can also make the cultivator. Let's make that right now. And then we just need to keep making bronze. Um, we're probably going to, well, definitely, definitely going to make the bronze pickaxe next, then probably the buckler, and then probably the mace. I think we'll go for the mace next, and then, of course, we need all of the armor as well. All right, cool. Learned a bunch of new recipes, too. Um, we need to get the anvil going. That require oh oh actually we can do that right now okay let's do it let's put it right here very nice so we already have a level two forge now uh, cauldron let's get that going okay so what I want to do with this is um let's remove that and we'll put the cauldron in its place. 
Excellent. Now we can make Queen's Jam and fish. Uh, I don't think we need two of those right now. And I happen to have one piece of fish that's been sitting in here for a long time. Raw fish. Huzzah! Okay, so this will give us... What does this give us? Uh... Wait, why is that raw? I just put it in the in the thing. That shouldn't be raw. It should be cooked. So then, we, do we cook it on here? Oh yeah, okay. That's weird. I mean, if we put the fish in the cauldron, it should just be like boiled fish, right? <laughs> I don't know. I guess that's not the way it works. Trying to wrap my brain around that, man. All right, so the cooked fish, that gives us 45 health and 15 stamina and two healing per tick. All right, so better health and stamina, but same um, HOT as the deer meat. Very nice. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, so we now have the cultivator and the bronze pickaxe. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to take our uh, bronze pickaxe and I want to go ahead and cut down some birch trees so we get some fine wood and see if we can make the better bow. And we'll put this metal in here for now. All right, let's put our bronze axe in the Z slot. And we can retire our flint axe. We are done with that guy. Put the cultivator up there. All right, let's go cut our first bit of fine wood here. There we go. Fine wood bow. A tankard and something else. <laughs> nice. All right, let's go see what we need to make the fine wood bow. Crude bow. Fine wood bow. There we go. Uh, so we just need... Uh, we need some core wood. Then we can make this. All right, let's go run over to the... Uh, to the dark forest, black forest, dark forest, black forest. It's the same thing. And we'll get some more core wood. Because I totally want to make this bow before anything else happens. Why? Because. That's why. It's good enough excuse for me. It's a good enough excuse for all of the rest of you. Okay, let's cut down some core wood. Huzzah! Look at that! Fine wood bow, baby! Yeah! Alright. We will now put that in slot number two. And we got some new uh, building pieces there as well. Hey, we can do a portal now. Beautiful. Fermenter, that's good. We need that for potions, cartography cable. It's good for map. All right, nice. We learned a lot of good stuff there. Let's go out and um, look at this bow. So much better. Um, let's just put wood arrows in it for now. All right, let's fill these guys back up. Get some more charcoal going. And I, I left um, another pile of wood out in the woods. So I'm going to go grab that real quick, and then we'll come back, and then we'll start getting the garden going. All right, guys, it is uh, time for us now to plant some seeds. So I got a bunch of carrot seeds. Uh, that's really all I have at the moment to plant. And so I figure this spot where our original base was, 
would be a good place for a garden to get started with one anyway. Um, so let's get the hoe back out and just kind of level up all of this ground around here. Uh, we need to also get some more sustenance going here. Okay, we'll probably eventually probably level all of this out too, I'm thinking, but uh, this is pretty good for now. Okay, so we got uh, this, uh, we need to cultivate the ground, we'll start right here. We'll kind of work our way back here. Takes a lot of stamina to do that, man. We do need to make a pin for um, capturing some critters, too. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll use this area for that. We'll see. And I'll probably, at some point, fairly quickly here, make a moat, too, because we need to protect against troll attacks in particular though the thing is is when trolls attack really the thing to do is just run away from the base and pull you know pull them away from the base but uh, we'll see generally a moat's the best way to handle those guys though um let's bring the garden out to about here. That looks pretty good. All right, now, um, what's this? Grass. No, we don't want to plant grass. All right, we have a mod that lets us plant anything. I forgot about that. Um, so we could plant some yellow mushrooms. I don't think you can normally plant yellow mushrooms in the vanilla game. But uh, since we can do it here. Oh. I guess that's all it's going to let me do because I didn't have enough there. Does it let me plant blueberries? Uh, we can do thistle. That's nice. Yeah, blueberry bush. I just don't have enough seeds on me. Okay, well, let's do carrots then. Really? We already ran out of seeds, huh? Wow, okay. We need three seeds to do that. Um, okay. Let's go back in the house for a second. These are the other seeds that I have. But those are all tree seeds. It says we need... Oh, okay, so it looks like it plants four at a time and only have one. But we could plant some raspberries, some thistles, and some other stuff. All right, let's, um, let's grab the thistles and some ras and a stack of raspberries and some mushrooms. All right, let's go plant that stuff too. Um no, yeah, we can't uh Yeah, we're short the carrots. Okay, so let's go to let's pick mushrooms, uh, red mushrooms.
Okay, why isn't it letting me put it down? Uh, I have ten. Five by four. Uh, okay, what the hell, man? Five. Five four. It says I don't have enough. I have ten, though. So are you saying I need 20? That's weird. Okay, let's uh let's try the raspberry. Oh, damn. Okay, we can do raspberries. That's nice. Huh. That's interesting how it does all that. It this seems to imply that I can plant it because it's lighted up, but it's not letting me do it. I don't understand. Let's, uh, we can do thistles. Uh, some thistles. I like that mod, though. I wish... I, I don't understand why we can't do that in the normal game. Huh. Okay. So apparently I don't have enough mushrooms, even though this indicates that I do. Uh, do we have enough of these mushrooms? Hmm. -mm. Weird. Okay. So... So I guess this just means I have some of the uh, of the seed, but I don't. That doesn't mean I have enough because apparently I'm missing some mushrooms here. Five times four is twenty. So I guess I have I need twenty to plant these. I think that's maybe what that means. Uh, there are some mushrooms out here in the woods. Let's go grab a few and see if that's what the deal is. Wow, this bow is so much better than the other one. Much flatter trajectory. Oh, wow. Somebody's got a big old uh, corral and stuff going on over here. Uh, looks like a tamed boar. This is new territory for us. Look, at there's a big mountain over there, too. Nice. I wonder whose place this is. Might be Wyoming Joe's. Does it say whose place it is? Yeah, this is Joe's place. Okay, cool. He's actually not super far away from us. Um, I don't know if this is his main base. We'll just call it his outpost because I think I think his main base is down here. At some point we need to go down and check out some of the builds and stuff that the other guys have done too. They've done some pretty cool stuff. Oh, there's a wolf. Guess he's trying to tame the wolf or something? He looks like he wants to eat us, so let's not mess with the wolf. a couple of big oak trees and get some fine wood from those but we don't need to cut them down right now here's some mushrooms all right let's actually mark this we need to find a beehive Nothing in any, any of these. Okay. Okay. We are back home. Now let's see if we can plant the red mushrooms. It's... What the hell? We've got 17. So I, I guess that means we're missing... Th three because I think we're supposed to have 20.
These look like they're ready to harvest. What's the plant uh, point in planting four if four's all you get? Unless we we do in fact get more than just those four. All right, here, let's do this. Let's put a, some stuff away and then we're gonna test that theory. All right, if we pick these, one, two, three, four. So we only got four thistle out of that. I think we need 20 to plant these, but what I don't understand is Yeah, we have 17 of those. Am I supposed to wait for it to, to grow more? Oh, I see what's happening here. It's renewable. Oh, very cool. Okay. So uh, uh, it looks like we need 20 to plant, but then it'll regrow each time we harvest it. So we don't have to replant the plant. Oh, I like that. So I, is that the same here too? Yes, it is the same. Oh, nice. Okay. And these bushes should stay here. We can just re-harvest them whenever we want to. Got it. I like it. I like it. All right. So we just need to find three more red mushrooms. Um, and then we can plant a little thingy of mushrooms. That's cool. Okay. I'm not going to look for those right now, though. But uh, now that I understand how it works... It's, uh, it's something, you know, we'll just keep an eye open for. I like that, though. I really do. Okay. Let's grab all of this coal and load these guys back up. So I think what I'm going to do, guys, is wrap up the episode here, and I'm just going to farm my butt off. I'm going to farm tin, wood for coal, uh, more copper if needed and just make a whole shit ton of bronze so that we can make the rest of the bronze gear including the armor um, in fact let's look at that real quick so um, there is a bone tower shield the bones of dead dwarfs make for good protection Hmm, that's new. I don't remember that in the or in the original game. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll we'll work towards the uh, bronze pick. The, I think the bronze pickaxe will be the next thing we want to go after, and we might be able to make it right now. We can look at that. Nice. Okay, so we got the bronze pickaxe. Oh, we're gonna make the bronze buckler. And then the bronze armor. And after that, we'll probably make the mace because we want to use a mace for bone mass as long as they haven't changed anything from the last time I played because the mace is the best weapon to use for him. So we want to make one of these and start leveling it up. However, um, I'd like to also level up swords too because later on when we get like the silver sword, that's a really good weapon too. So, uh, so we'll probably level up maces and swords um, as our melee weapons. I'm thinking, and you know, axes will just kind of level up just by cutting wood. So that way, we'll eventually be proficient in all three of those things. And then, of course, we'll be going uh, for the armor too. If I didn't already say that, so I'm just going to keep working on that. And then, uh, in the next episode, hopefully, I will have farmed up enough bronze to make all of those things and then of course then we you know then we got to do the upgrades too in fact we can do that right now um upgrade the cultivator anyway uh yeah so then we have to do all the upgrades and we have to do all of the workstation upgrades too um which okay so we got the forge now that oh okay so that's another thing that uses just copper so we'll make the forge cooler and uh, we need to make the fermenter as well. And I got to find some bees. Um, so what I'll do is, 
for that is uh, we'll probably do that, try and do that in an episode. But if I happen to come across some, I'll at least record myself doing it and, you know, show that to you guys so you can see, for those of you who may not know anyways, uh, to see how that's done. And, um, Queen's Jam, you know, we got to make some of that stuff too. So lots of stuff to do. But anyway, lots of fun. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.